Hey, this is Josh, and I'm going to show off a, a little demonstration of some of the things I can do on the iOS platform. Uh, the first thing is I'm pulling up my application, and it has a little hello text on the navigation bar at the top and a next button. And you have your welcome, which is slightly covered up by this block. Uh, it's I made the blocks randomized. Um, and then you have your button right here, and when you click it, you'll add a gravity effect to all the block items and collision. So that's one of the things. Hit the next button, it opens up another UI view controller. And um, you have your uh, abilities label at the top navigation bar. And you have your back button as well, so you can go back and forth. Um, then you have a, a little image here and your segments down at the bottom to switch between um, the different segments. You can move this image only when you're uh, only when you're on the image, um, and then when you double tap, it increases its size. You can still move it around, and when you double tap again, it uh, shrinks it back down. And on to the next segment, you have lists, and this list um, populates or gets its information from this JSON file over here. So. Um, you can delete things off of it and it'll save it and update the JSON file and then when you add something you can um, you can add things to the list and it'll update and save the JSON file also. Another thing is if you hold down your button on it you can copy and it'll actually save it and so you can paste it in there and um, that's pretty neat. Another thing is, is that it also accounts for just white space. So if you don't type anything, it'll do that. Um, and then the next thing is the grid, which is a UI collection view. And I have three segment or three sections. Section one, two, and three. And I just kind of repeated it because I didn't have that many images. But um, when you highlight the image, it'll increase in size and when you unhighlight it it'll go back down and when you click on it it'll bring up a box with the description of the item inside the box and you have your little X button to X out of it and it'll do that for all of the items then the last thing is the um, the calendar and um, just to show that this works I'll go to home I'll go into the calendar and I'll highlight this and uh, go to edit. And delete event. So now that's deleted. And we're going to add um, an event to that calendar. Go back into the app. You have your submit button over there. You got your messages. And uh, hit done. Then you go over to your notes. And you can just type in this as a done and then you do your start date we'll do the start date for today and then your end date we'll do that for a second and you hit done and when you set all your um, things on the list you'll go up to submit and it'll save it to your calendar and so now when we go back out to the calendar click on it now it has the little dots and when you click on it it's got this as a calendar notification and when you click on that it saves the notes under it and it saves it for the dates that you have it for. And that is pretty much it. Uh, this was just an app to show the basics or, or some of the basic things that I know about the iOS platform and I hope you enjoyed this video.